Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and the jungle survival. Which do you think is the more useful back tool on a Swiss Army knife for general EDC? The corkscrew or the Phillips head driver? I hope to answer this specific question objectively in this video. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, you can check out my shop links in the description or pinned comment for some cool original stuff. Recently, I ran a poll on my community page asking this specific question and more than 600 people participated. Thanks to all of you who did, I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Now from this piece of scientific research, I'm sure we can all infer that 66% of the people have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Haha, <laughs> before you can get angry with me, I can prove this with quantitative evidence. Now the question is, which tool is more useful? So the most objective way to decide this is to compare the number of uses of each tool. The tool which has the most number of uses is irrefutably the more useful tool. Simple, right? So it's not a subjective question, it is an objective one. Let's start with the Phillips head driver. So use number one, you can screw in a Phillips head screw. Use number two, you could unscrew a Phillips head screw. But technically, you could do that with the tools on a corkscrew Swiss Army knife. For example, the Compact has a combo tool, but that can fit in many screws, so it depends on the size of the screw. But if you go with the traditional Swiss Army knife with the can opener and that small uh, head driver there, that works very effectively, and I've been using this a lot as well uh, for Phillips head, and I know many people have. But I would agree, of course, if you have a dedicated Phillips head driver, that's better. And with this particular one, you can get into recessed uh, holes where screws might be much easier. However, of course, you are hindered a bit by this uh, T-handle, but definitely for specific screws and recessed holes, this would win out the other Swiss Army knife with the cork screw. Now, you could also probably dig out dirt from shoes, lift up a small drain cover, or maybe even use it as a self-defense tool, but the corkscrew can arguably do the same thing as well, right? So I think uh, this negates each other, so I won't really consider this an advantage or a use case. In fact, for digging, arguably, the corkscrew can get into smaller crevices. It's also easier to lift up a drain cover. So what other uses uh, are there for the Phillips head driver? Honestly, I can't think of many more uh, specific ones, uh, but if you do, do let me know in the comments below. Let's now move on to the corkscrew. I think obviously the most obvious example would be to open a bottle of wine, those that have the cork. Now, for the old world wines, most of them still use cork. Uh, for the new world wines, uh, they sometimes use a synthetic cock or a screw cap. Now, this is actually from Argentina. It's a Malbec, so it's a new world wine, but it still has a cork. So that's where this uh, cork screw would come in handy. Uh, the other thing that the cork screw is used a lot for is to loosen knots, uh, like a marling spike. So if you have a knotted piece of cordage and it's just hard to get your fingernails in to grab it, you can easily put the cork screw in dig it up and loosen the knot. So it's a, it's a good way, especially for outdoor use, but actually for urban, uh, often you may get shoelaces or string on shorts, they often get in knots. And uh, this can be very useful to unknot those. You can clean under fingernails because it's uh, quite smooth doesn't really hurt, but you can really get under there, so that's very practical. In the jungle, you can also use the Swiss Army knife with the corkscrew as a hanger that you can screw it into a tree and hang your gear off the Swiss Army knife. Typically, I will not do that. I think you can hang it off a branch. However, if you're in a situation where you have to build a shelter with a tarp or a poncho and you just don't have any cordage or you ran out of paracord, uh, then you could actually use this uh, to go through the eyelet and screw it into the tree as a hanging point. So that is very useful. 
The next idea is also great for the outdoors and that's to create an extended saw with a Swiss Army knife if you have a corkscrew and a saw. This was actually brought to my attention by subscriber Chani Does Stuff who highlighted that TA Outdoors did a video which showcased this and I've seen other YouTubers showcase this as well. But this is a great idea where you screw in the Swiss Army knife to the end of a branch or some kind of a staff and then you have the saw extended and then use paracord to wrap and tie the Swiss Army knife to the end of this branch and now you have an extended saw that you can use the Swiss Army knife to saw branches that are high up or out of reach. Finally, one very practical use of the corkscrew is to hold tools. Now the compact will come with this mini driver uh, which a lot of people do like and keep. Uh, you also have other items uh, made uh, by third-party companies uh, such as this. This is a Tinder from the company Tortoise and that is if you want some Tinder uh, for fire making. You can see I've got other Swiss Army knives with corkscrews. This is the Camper and I have both the ferro rod and Tinder combination. Same with my Forester over here. So definitely very useful in that regard. I hope this video has shown that the corkscrew is objectively more useful than the Phillips head screwdriver as a back tool for the Swiss Army knife in terms of the number of use applications. Having said that, this may not apply to you based on your own use cases or the activities you engage in. And if you really want the best of both worlds, you might want to consider models such as the Swiss Champ or Explorer, as they're both the corkscrew back tool and an inline Phillips head driver, which is actually much better than the Phillips back tool. So what is your choice after watching this video? A Swiss Army knife with a corkscrew or a Phillips head driver? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.